welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Carolyn. And in this video, I'm going to be chatting about some life updates while I do my makeup. So if that sounds interesting to you, then just keep on watching. So I'm not going to talk about the pro specific products that I'm using. Uh, I will do my best to try to link everything that I'm using in the description box. But yeah, I'm just going to talk and do my makeup. So, like it says in the thumbnail, I am having a hysterectomy on March 5th. I have known since December that I'm going to be having a hysterectomy. I actually thought about not posting anything on YouTube until after my surgery, like, because I've known since December. Um, and if you didn't know, if you're new here, I moved from Arizona to Florida in uh, September and then I was wanting to get my house put together, like furniture. I haven't done any of that, like I still have a lot of boxes, but my plan <laughs> was to get um, my this beauty room put together and have everything unpacked before I started filming again. But I wanted to get my end of year ranking palettes video up and then I just had other videos that I wanted to get up so uh, I came back earlier well I expected to have everything like my room done earlier than now <laughs> and I didn't expect it to take so long to get the furniture get this space painted and everything uh, but yeah, I don't know when that's going to happen. So I decided to just start uploading again. Um, but I will be probably having to take a short break after my surgery, uh, just to recover and everything. But yeah, so a while ago, uh, I'm not sure exactly when I posted a video talking about how I have uterine fibroids and at the time... I was gonna have a uterine fibroid ablation, which I didn't know is like a, a new thing. And they don't even do that here, but it's basically in Florida, they don't have anyone that does it, but they had someone in Arizona. And it's basically where they go in and like heat up the fibroids and uh, your body just absorbs them, I guess. It's a little bit more complicated than that, but I don't really know how to explain it <laughs> better than that. Uh, so I had that scheduled and it was kind of an ordeal to get that scheduled. Like I had to see one doctor three different times because, well, if you're interested in that, I'll link that video in the description box because that's a whole long story. Anyway, that doctor that was going to do the fibroid ablation had an accident and had a traumatic brain injury and so he obviously wasn't going to be able to do the surgery uh so yeah that kind of just got postponed and because it was such an ordeal to even get the surgery scheduled i just kind of wanted to take a break from it from trying well i should say i'm going to be talking about periods and stuff so uh if if that's something that you don't want to hear about, then probably don't watch this video because, uh, yeah, I'm going to be talking about that. I'm not going to go into graphic detail, but I am going to be talking about that because uh, it's necessary for the rest of the story. So if you're not interested in hearing about that, that's fine. Um, just know that I'm having a hysterectomy on March 5th and I'm going to be probably taking a short break from YouTube so and Instagram. So, yeah. But anyway, so... Uterine fibroids, uh, they cause, can cause really heavy bleeding and back pain. They're typically benign. I think they're almost always benign. So they're just more of an inconvenience than anything. But mine um, are causing some issues because I now have anemia. So uh, let me get back to like the timeline, the, the actual story. So. Um, then, and so I took a pause. I didn't know when exactly I was going to try to get that figured out. Uh, but, you know, I still had the fibroids, so, um, it was, you know, I, I can't really, when it's my period, I can't really leave the house or do much of anything because it's, they're that heavy. Like, I have to be near a bathroom 
at all times. Uh, and it's, I basically have to plan my life around my periods. Uh, so I've had, I had to do something about them, about the fibroids and stuff. So, so fast forward to here, like we moved here to Florida, uh, September 4th and, uh, it's my mirror here. Sorry. I'm trying to keep it out of the frame. Um, so September 4th was when we got here to Florida and uh, we got a PCP and uh, then the my PCP referred me to an OBGYN uh, regarding the fibroids and she was very concerned about my anemia because it's somewhat severe um and so I go to the OBGYN which was very like efficient and uh so much better than my experience in Arizona within the first visit we had a game plan so that was that was nice so basically the first visit we did the ultrasound and the consultation so the doctor had already seen the ultrasound when she went to visit me or when she came into the room so that was that was pretty nice because in Arizona I had to like do the ultrasound and then go to see the doctor and then to have another ultrasound <laughs> it was like it was just a lot more appointments and when at that time when I looked into this previously so the doctor said uh, I have, my fibroids are now grapefruit size, so they more than doubled in size since, since the last time, which I, at least two of them are grapefruit size. Um, and she was saying that the options I have, like she went through all the options and, um, we came to the conclusion that a hysterectomy was the best option because just removing them, which is like a mile something, I don't know, I don't remember the exact term, but you can move, you can just remove the uh, fibroids, but they, they have, there's a chance they'll come back. And she was saying that I would probably have more blood loss than if I had with the, that approach than if I had a hysterectomy and she's also concerned about my blood loss like I might have to have an iron infusion before my surgery and she also gave me um medication to take during my period to lessen the blood loss because of how much blood I'm losing during my period so um, and so I don't have, I don't have kids, um, and, but I'm okay. Like, I don't, I haven't wanted kids. Basically when I was 16, I decided, I decided I don't want kids and I haven't changed my mind. So I'm okay with that part of it. Like, uh, that's not a concern for me. Um, I'm sorry, I feel like this is, this, uh, is a little bit, uh, incohesive, like, not cohesive, a little bit all over the place, uh, but I'm hoping I get all the information out that I want to talk about. So, we basically decided probably a hysterectomy, uh, would be best, and then I came, I did have a follow-up appointment uh, with her. They had to take a, like a sample, a biopsy, sorry, I couldn't think of the word, a biopsy from my uterus to make sure that the fibroids were what was causing, like they knew the fibroids were causing it, but it's still something that's required for like medical insurance. I don't know. It's required for them to take a biopsy. So well, I went in for the biopsy and of course, like it came back like that. Uh, it was benign, I guess, like no 
other issues besides the fibroids. So then at that appointment, we for sure decided that I was going to have a hysterectomy. And uh, yeah, like I said, that was in December. So yeah, I'm known for a little bit that I was going to have a hysterectomy. Um, so that's why I was like, maybe I'll just wait to come back to YouTube until after I've healed from the hysterectomy and just kind of like do a big life update. And I was hoping that my room would be put together at that time, but it's not. And I don't know if it will be because um, everything is expensive these days. It's expensive to move. We had to, uh, sorry if we've heard all this before, but we had to leave all of our furniture. Well, not all of our furniture. A lot of our furniture behind. Like we gave it away and stuff. We didn't just like leave it in the place, but we gave away a lot of our furniture because uh, moving it was expensive, like the U-boxes and stuff. So we were just planning on getting new furniture, but uh, things have been expensive since we moved here. So uh, just all the things that go with moving, like getting our car registered here was expensive. And I don't know. So we haven't been able to do that, which is fine. But um. Anyway, back to my story. So oh, I'm not concerned at all about the not being able to have kids part of the hysterectomy, but I I have been a bit concerned about the possible side effects, which I did talk to my doctor about, um, you know, because with any kind of big surgery like this, there are side effects. And I was looking into the side, like what can happen with a hysterectomy because it is kind of a, a big surgery and they don't, if, you know, like they don't, doctors and stuff uh insurance and stuff it's not something that's easy to get in fact when I first went to the doctor about it um I was saying that I was open to a hysterectomy and they're like oh you want they wouldn't do that on you anyway uh so yeah it's not something that is done when there aren't when there are better alternatives I guess so Anyway, I was concerned because I was reading that you could have like bowel issues and like bowel incontinence, which obviously that's not something I want to deal with. And you know, like urinary incontinence and uh, all the things that could go wrong, which is pretty, I was talking to my doctor and it's actually pretty rare that those things happen. So that's a relief because, uh, yeah, I was concerned about that because I wanted to, I want this to make my life easier and not cause, you know, other issues in the process. Uh, but luckily it seems like it, this is, well, this is a very routine surgery. You know, she's done this so many times. So I, sh those, I shouldn't really have those issues. Um, she said that I'll probably go through menopause sooner. Uh, which, I don't know. I don't, I don't have strong feelings about that. I mean, I, I hear that it's not a fun time, so... Yeah, but I'm going to go through it anyway, so, well, if I live that long, which hopefully I do, but something I and I was already planning on going through, so if it's a little bit earlier, oh well. <laughs> um, I'm excited to not have periods anymore, so something I'm actually really excited about because uh, I kind of hate them as I think a lot of women do. I'm excited to no longer have anemia, like try to, uh, cause I've been taking iron supplements, but it hasn't been enough, you know, it's been, uh, like I still have anemia, which is causing kind of extreme fatigue. I have a really hard time getting like, just, doing basic tasks sometimes when I walk up the stairs with the laundry basket I feel like I'm gonna faint <laughs> and I was thinking what, like am I this out of shape <laughs> but then uh my doctor said that that's most likely due to the anemia so um <clears throat> just basic tasks are difficult and I'm just tired all the time. I also thought about doing this video 
a little bit later, like closer to when I'm going to be actually having the surgery. Uh, but then I, I don't know, I just decided maybe I should just post it now. Because I, I, the only other video I want to do before then is an empties video. And I have, I'm close on finishing a few products, so I want to get those finished before I do the empties video. So you should probably see at least one more video for me before my surgery and I don't know how long of a break I'm gonna take uh hopefully not too long be but I have no idea like what to expect as well I kind of have an idea she said I'm gonna be really tired after the surgery and I know it takes about eight weeks to recover so hopefully if I'm I can still be back before the eight weeks uh I'm not really sure how long it'll take to fully recover and I think it's different for Pretty much everyone so yeah that's pretty much my update i'm trying to think of what else to talk about i'm probably i'm gonna do my eyeliner um and i can't talk while i do my eyeliner it's a whole process i'm still not the best at doing liquid eyeliner even though i do it like every time i do my makeup but yeah so i'm gonna do my eyeliner real quick okay eyeliner is done i'm also planning on doing uh videos here and there after I, afterwards talking about hysterectomy, like recovery, my experience, just because that might be helpful to some people that have to go, have to have a hysterectomy. My mom actually had a hysterectomy, so I've been talking to her a lot about it. She had a, her hysterectomy a long time ago. Like over 20 years ago, I think. Yeah, over 20 years ago. And she didn't have any issues from it. So that's good. Um, and I found someone on YouTube who uh, does Pilates. Uh, I, I discovered her from her Pilates videos. Um, she's a physical therapist and Pilates instructor. instructor and I really like her videos because... Um, she definitely brings that physical therapy aspect into it. And she gives like modifications for every move and like what you can do if you can't do exactly what she's doing. And, and anyway, she also had a hysterectomy and she has a podcast. So I've been listening to her videos or her um, podcast and stuff. So uh, yeah, I'll try to have her channel linked in the description box but I've just I found them pretty helpful so and and because everybody's experience is different I assume anyway um maybe my maybe what I have to say what I go through would be helpful to people um I'm not sure but yeah as the surgery date gets closer and closer I'm getting a little bit more nervous um just because, you know, it's kind of a big surgery and then I'm gonna be out, you know, of, I won't be able to do very much for a little bit after. Luckily, my husband is taking the week off for my surgery, so he'll be here to help me. I'm gonna get my hair out of the way. So yeah, if any of you have had a hysterectomy or know of someone who has and um if you know how it was it was for them uh definitely let me know I'm trying to use that i have just a little bit left of this um uh wet and wild tinted hydrator and i'm just trying to get the last bit out because this isn't one that this is one that i want to put in my empties video <laughs> Uh, I have cut these open before to try to get the last bit out, but it was so messy, so I don't want to do that again. But, yeah, I'm just trying to get this last bit out. I have another one of these. This one, this shade is a little bit dark for me. I have another one. The shade is in light medium, and this one is in fair. This is more my shade, but, um, these do run a little bit dark. And for some reason, light medium is lighter than the shade light, which is confusing to me, but 
anyway um yeah okay i'm definitely relieved to finally have like this issue totally resolved and then they definitely won't come back there's no way that the five words can come back so uh this what she said was like the 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 only 100 percent effective option that they won't return so that's good um i feel like that's kind of it like as far as what i wanted to talk about i'm trying to think of there's anything else like i hope i'm not missing anything i didn't leave anything out See, you can see that this is darker. Um, yeah, it's partly why, it, that's the big reason why I wanted to get it used up. But luckily it's pretty sheer coverage, so it's not super, super noticeable, I guess, unless you look at my neck. But I don't really want to blend it all the way down. I think my only plans today are to go to Walmart and I don't think anybody's gonna care that much. I, think I, was... oh, I don't care. I feel like I ran out of things to talk about like halfway through my makeup, which is annoying. Cause I mean, I, I ran out of things to talk about about the main point of this video. This is the finished look. I cut a lot of this makeup look out because I finished everything I wanted to say like halfway through my makeup look. So yeah, <laughs> it didn't take me as long to share everything that I wanted to share as I thought it would. So anyway, thank you so much for watching. Um, please subscribe if you haven't subscribed. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it or if you want to. <laughs> and I will see you in the next video. Bye.